Hello everyone, welcome back to the Citadel with me, Grandmaster Stitch, for episode 7 in Life 11 of the YouTube Succession series. In the last episode, we took Germany in the Holy War, giving us a hell of a lot of land there in Central Europe, and our armies are currently recovering, so I'm going to let it play along just while it recovers, while we go over what has been going on. I'm going to try and conquer a bigger chunk of Spain again in today's episode. Okay, we need a focus for our daughter. She's got very good martial, so we'll definitely go with struggle for you. What I want to do while we wait for people to recover, though, is see if any more of these Norse kingdoms in England and around other areas of Europe would like to swear as fealty. So let's have a look at you. We can't get to you. What about you in Northumbria? We can offer you a vassalization. What do you reckon to that? Would you be willing to swear as fealty? What about you as well? Oh, no, 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 no. I don't want a plot to kill. I swear fealty to you. Awesome. What about you? Can we offer you vassalization? No, you're not interested. But we have expanded into Northumbria there, which is great. What about this little kingdom here? You are Norse. Would you like to swear as fealty, maybe? We'll find out. Norse at this little land here. You're Norse as well. Off of vassalization. Yes, I'm just going to see. You never know. We can expand. It's going to give us a lot more kingdoms, a lot more realm, and making our great Norse empire even bigger. We're now over the vassal limit, so we need to sort that out in a moment. But first, we'll see how many of these are willing to swear his fealty. You're Norse as well, but you're not interested. I accept and swear you fealty. Right, we will transfer the fealty of those over to the Jarl of Jorvik. Transfer vassalage. Um, find those now, haven't we? Which is going to be annoying. Of Northumbria. Yep, we'll send you him. And we'll also transfer the vassalage off. Where is our next English Norse that we've got? Was it you? Yes, there we go. We'll send that over. That puts us back under the limit again. Makes him happier as well, the Lord of Jorvik. What about this land here? Are you a Viking? Are you a Norse? Oh, yep. Now you've already swore as fealty as well. We'll transfer you over to Jorvik as well. Oh, no, no, no. I don't want to grant that. I want to... Uh, transfer the vassalage off. Where are you? You wasn't it, Gloucester? There we go. So now our kingdom in England is looking much healthier as well. Are you Norse on the Isle of Man? No, you are Anglo-Saxon, so you're not going to be interested. What about some of these lands in Ireland? Maybe that's a big kingdom. Most of them are not of Viking descent. This guy is though, but he's not interested. What about? No, you're definitely not Viking. <laughs> you're the one who wasn't interested. Are you? You're Norse. Here, what are you? You're Norse as well. Can we offer you vassalization? No, what about Iceland? Who is our leader up in Iceland? King Eric, the liberator of Iceland. I doubt. Oh, no. No, I didn't think you would be interested. You are a bit out of the way. But we've just gained a hell of a lot more vassals there, which is good. Down. Okay, we've got a Norse in Kent. What about you? No. In Norfolk and Suffolk. Off of vassalization in Norfolk. Not interested. Suffolk. No. Devon. What about Devon? You're a Viking. You're our cousin as well. And yes, you're willing. Hopefully you accept. Gives us even more vassals down here. So there's, yeah, it looks like there's a lot of people that we've... I've sort of skipped over without realising that they would swear his fealty. There's another one, just swore his fealty, which is great. We'll transfer that over to Jorvik as well. We'll give him most of the ones in um, England. There we go. Hopefully they'll conquer Durham and over. We've got most of Northumbria now, which is awesome. We're just waiting on Devon and Dorset to see if he is willing to uh, bend the knee to us and swear as fealty at getting all of Devon then in our land as well. Oxford. Who is in charge of Oxford? Are you Norse? You are Norse. 
Awesome. Would you be willing to... Uh, oh, you might do. Awesome. Devon is bent the knee. Hopefully Oxford will as well now. What about Sussex? Earl of Sussex is also Norse, but no, he's not. I swear you feel too perfect. So we've managed to gain Oxford in Devon as well. Let's pass them on to the Earl of Jorvik. Let's have a look. Yep, him of Devon. And, oh, so Daisy. And now, so we'll get all this in order before we move on and start conquering more of Spain. Uh, who was our other one? It was Oxford, wasn't it, that we just made? But there we go. What about these two little kingdoms in Wales? Are these Norse? No, they're two little Anglo-Saxon Welsh kingdoms still. England is absolutely tiny now that we've literally just carved up most of the kingdom. No, you wasn't interested, was you? Right, hopefully they'll now take care of that of themselves and split a little bit more of that land up for us over in England. We have got a couple of kingdoms to give away as well. Have we got any loyal family members? Our sister, she has a son. He's, he's a prince and he's a prince. He's a Jarl and he's a Jarl as well. So they actually have Jarldoms already. But we have got some kingdoms to give away. But who do we give them to? What about you? Princess Druznik, no? We have got many siblings. We do. We, I wish we could have a son so we could give our son some lands, but never mind. Our sibling is dead. Did he have any sons? He did have a son. So we could give our nephew the Kingdom of Franconia. So we'll do that. Hopefully creating ourselves another powerful, loyal vassal by doing so. We've now gone up to 17,000 men. That's probably from all of those uh, new vassals we've just gained from England. Let's make the Kingdom of Swabia. Well, we can't actually make that. But we can create the Duchy of Cumbria, so we'll do that. Yarladum of Cumbria. We'll give that to Jorvik, and then he can grant that to who who he feels he'd like to give that to. Have we got any other English ones to give away? I don't think we have. Right. Now though, is there any, there's not really anyone down here, but we can now, how many men do you have? 8,000, the Sultan of here, so yeah. Can we declare war on you? And we want to go for, I believe Leon is probably the next biggest one that we can try and, uh, that's a quite big chunk, but I think Leon is much bigger. Yes, Leon is a great chunk there, as well as uh, Portugal, Portugal, which is very big as well, but uh, we will go, let's go for Leon. It borders most of our land, it's pretty big. So let's call the banners once again. We've got all our men down here. Let's meet up in Granada, please. And, wow, we've got our men everywhere else, haven't we, that we've got to... Is it worth bringing them over? We're probably best to just to be safe, aren't we? We may as well bring everybody over. Did I already tell you to go there? No, I didn't. All of you guys that can get on ships, get on ships, and then I'll just disband the others afterwards. Wow, I've got... Oh no, that wasn't our men. I thought we had a lot more men in Egypt than I thought then. I have been advised by one of uh, you guys as well, the viewers, that we need to take this province here, which is uh, Sinai. Sinai, is that how you say it, Mir? But then apparently we'll be able to raid further down here and expand over uh, down the side of Africa and into India maybe so that would be awesome if we could do that we haven't got any banners from Germany which isn't any surprise really considering uh... let's just disband that 100 men and we can pull the ships over thank you but yeah it's no surprise that we didn't get any men from there considering it is newly conquered land Anyone here who can get on ships? 
get on the ship and bring yourselves down to Granada as well, please. And then we've obviously got our massive host from England now, over 3,000 men, which is pretty awesome, with a massive fleet as well. Bring those down. At least now we'll have a lot more men when it comes to trying to attack other lands. I should have done all this before, rather than jumping the gun and going straight for uh, Francia like I did. We should have carved up Spain there. But I got impatient waiting for the uh, treaty to end, but obviously I'll learn from that mistake now, and I will not be doing that again. I will conquer the rest of Spain and some of these smaller North African provinces first before we try and take Francia or Italy on again. Um, obviously, we're going to stay well away from the Byzantine Empire because that is just ridiculously strong. Yog, not the butcher, has created the title Yaldum of Cornwall. Yep, that's fair enough. Create as many Yaldums as you want up in England with those new lands that you have. As long as you stay loyal to me, I could not care less. So we're just going to wait for all our men to arrive in Granada and then we can start curving up more of Spain. You'll have a new heir if your character dies now. You'll play as Bastarda. Well, that'd be good if we actually did play as Bastarda, as considering that uh, he's going next. It'd be good he'd be actually be able to play as himself, which would be pretty cool. I want a son still, so that we can call it Stitch. Okay, well, now we've got another new heir. Keeps changing regularly, as it always does. We go 8,000 men here now. A great Viking host. We've still got many men on the way as well. On the fleets that are coming from all over the place. Pull it along till they get here, and then we'll go straight for the capital of the whatever kingdom this is. Umayyad. Umayyad? Umayyad? Something like that. Yes, we've had a, a son was born to print. Oh, not. Damn it. I got excited, but it's not actually ours. But we'll call him Stitch anyway, just so we can get a couple of stitches out there. There we go. Let's go straight for the capital then, guys. Let's march on to it. More than enough men here now, and any others that arrive will send after you. We're probably not going to need them anyway. I just called them, just in case. Being very cautious now after what happened uh, in the war against Francia. Which is now France. They've now actually finally called their self France, as they should have done quite a while ago. Here we go. 11,000, 12,000 men marching up there to the capital of uh, this kingdom. Almost there they are. You have a new heir now. Another one. Okay. Changing regularly as always. No, no, no. You guys carry on going where you were. Let's go conquer this land. What have they got there? They've actually got some defenders by the looks of it as well, but it's going to be a very easy war, this is. And our money is flying back up again, once again, which is awesome. That was a very quick siege victory. These are dark days. My daughter, Princess Gunhilda, has been growing weaker and weaker over the last few weeks, and I have just been informed that her affliction is indeed consumption. Call for the physician at once. Right, let's siege this province as quickly as possible. Great victory. Perfect. Is that actually their armor? It looks like it is 3,000, which is not a lot of men. They're already at war with somebody. I hope they're not trying to claim the lands that we are. That would be annoying. I hate when that happens. Got another 1,000 men down here that have arrived. So we'll send them to the start. Just go start sieging some, sieging some land. And the others will be down to join you soon. Another 150 men coming to join the fray. Well, they're almost here. And we've almost won this siege as well. There's no point assaulting when we're that close to winning. There we go, a great victory. Young Bragi has finished his education in the ways of war. It seems he has learned all the basic skills required. Okay, it's not too bad. Not too bad. Beautiful commander. Let's march on to the next uh, area. Actually, let's go and enter into battle with the enemy instead. That would be better, really, wouldn't it? We can try and get some battle 
war score instead. To my liege, the chaste Emperor Lambert, it has not escaped me that several of your commanders lack formal training in military tactics. I would like to offer my service by training Ragnar, Kemtil and Asa in the use of advanced battlefield. Okay, a generous offer. Why not? Feel free, my friend. Feel free. Go for it. Well, that's going to take some sieging. Can we not march up there? I want to enter into battle with them. Get this over with as quickly as possible. Right there. They're running away again. Okay, one child like an educational focus, and it's Princess Sophia, our daughter. She's pretty impressive. Let's get her the intrigue focus. You're still sieging that. Stupid amount of ships all there. I'm just going to gather them. No, 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 no. You go. Go join that host. Why not? Now you're going the long way around the mountains or the river, whatever it is. Let's get this siege underway. Let's just assault. Great victory. Assault again. Another great victory. Let's chase down this army of 4,000 men. If we can defeat them. That'd be great. Okay, there's 200 men there. That's going to be an easy victory. Bit of a slaughter more than anything, if I'm honest. But we need to chase these men down. Where are they going? They just keep wandering away. Hopefully now we can enter battle with them. Maybe, maybe we're going to catch them now, I hope. Right, another child lacking an educational focus, Sterla. Um, hmm, go with, let's go with Heritage, why not? Let's mix it up a bit. Are we going to catch them or is that for the other army that's already there? Yeah, it's for that army, I thought it would be. Never mind. Let's walk around the mountains and see where they're going to. We're not giving them very many options now to escape, which is good. No, these. You stay there in Zamora. There we go, we should be able to catch now. They've got the river crossing, but we've got almost double the, more than double the amount of men, sorry, almost three times the amount of men, so should be an easy victory. Hopefully give us a lot of war scores so that we can take that duchy that we want. There we go. Great victory. Let's start sieging some land. Attempt an assault. Perfect. And again. Let's try and swallow up some of these smaller lands. I'm ready for the Great Holy Wars, which we're probably not going to do in our lifetime, but at least we'll set somebody else up hopefully for a chance to do so. Gunhilda grows more beautiful every day. I have my doubts at first, but now I cannot deny it any longer. The child is surely blessed. When my wife played Freya during the festival, the goddess must have touched the child within her and gifted her with her beauty and purity. Attractive Princess Gunhilda. Perfect. Awesome. She'll make somebody a good match. Call all our men down because it seems like we're still a bit short on men. 200 there that got left behind, but there, no worry. I suppose maybe now we can call upon the uh, forces in Germany without realizing, right? Okay, we're at 53 percent war score though, so we're not too far off now. If we can just get a couple more uh, sieges. Oh, has he just took some lands in England? More lands in England? I think he may have. I'm not sure. Maybe not. Maybe not. Who knows? We'll, we'll find out soon enough. Let's attempt an assault. There we go. Another victory. 57% war score. Let's march on to Bad Badajoz. 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 And claim that as well. Where did those other troops go that lost? Did they just get slaughtered? Looks like they may have done. Okay, we've got a dangerous faction. Um. Gravel kind of succession. Let's have a look. Who are you? Let's grant you the landed title. We'll grant you a kingdom lot. There you go. That'll make you happy, won't it? Send gift. We'll send you a small gift as well. There we go. That got rid of that. 
And we've got another faction here. Who are you? You're only a chief of a small area. So what about if we give you the a nice little Yaldum? Will that make you happy? And award you an honorary title. There you go. That should get rid of that dangerous faction now. There we go. He's suddenly got a lot of men come from somewhere, which is worrying. Okay, so he's finally died now, the Byzantine Emperor that we Emperor that we had as our prisoner, so that's a bit of a worry, but they can now declare war on us now that he's uh gone, which is a bit a bit worrying. I have to keep an eye out on for that. Let's attempt an assault. I might hire some mercenaries as well. We've got the money to do so. Have we got we have got more than enough for the Holy Order, actually. So let's hire the Holy Order to come and join us. Instead, we've got loads of Pieta, as we can see. How much did we need to become a Paragon of Virtue? We need 2,000 Pieta. We could do that. Carry on how we have been with the Holy Wars. We could easily uh, achieve that, which would be a great achievement. Right, they're marching on to us now. So we want you to get here quickly. Okay, no, it looks like they're just going to march straight past us. Which is good, so we can go and crush them afterwards. Turned into a bit of a longer war than expected, but we'll take it. There we go, a great victory. Where did his host just... Okay, now they've got a revolt. And there, that means that the war's ended. That's so annoying. For God's sake. What an absolute waste of time that was now because of that. They couldn't have timed that any worse if they tried. I might just go raiding now because of that. We've got all this massive host uh, gathered. Damn it, that, that is so annoying. So annoying. Right, let's create a couple more of these duchies. Create the Duchy of Angoria, yeah. What else have we got? Kingdom of Swap, no, we still can't create that. Yeah, we can create that duchy. And I think there was one more, weren't there? Yeah, there we go, create. Create a lot of duchies over there in Germany. We've still got that one kingdom to create once we have the cash to do so. Disband. Disband. Disband all fleets. Where, where's this fleet going? You just go there. According to Chancellor Bolt, the peasants of Granada have started a delightful tradition. Yeah, well, I'll definitely back that. It will always do. It's always good to do so. Let's stand down all fleets and armies. Yeah. Ah, uh, that's so annoying. What do we actually need to create this title? We need 400 gold and it costs us 200 pieta, which is annoying, but never mind. We have got an abundance of piety, though, which is one good thing. I do think Egypt are too strong at the moment for us to try and attack that land. I'm pretty sure she's got quite a... 10,000 men. And she does have a lot of men. But I do want to take that land like you guys have advised. It would be nice to take that. Where is it? There. Hmm. We'll leave it for now. Let's try and... So annoyed that can we can we declare war on him again? Yeah, we can still. That's so annoying. So annoying. Should we go for Portugal instead? Council vote against it. So we'll leave that for now, then, shall we? Where should we, what should we do now then? We'll let things tick along so we can make some money. Is there anything we can do in intrigue? Hold a great block. Where should we, ancestors, gates? Mm, no. A dual pain begins to frog behind your eyes. So we've got a headache. We are getting old. Maybe, maybe we'll finally die. Who knows? Point to cancer. Okay, so apparently we've got cancer. So yes, we will now die. So I might just let the realm recover then. I'm glad I, uh, to relieve your worst alignment, Mayor Ragnar suggests you could spend more time in prayer, gain 50 health. If we are going to die from cancer, I'm going to let things fall along so that we can earn some money and try not to go to war. So that people are, so that we leave the next guy uh, 
in a good position. Okay, so what we've got here, Prince. Okay, we've got a couple of factions that we need to look out for. He wants independence again. Hmm. None of them are too dangerous at the moment, though. So that's one more thing. The symptoms which have troubled you lately were the sign of something much worse. You have cancer. Great. So we're probably going to die soon. Uh, my life is in your hands. As long as you know what you're doing, please do what only what is necessary. The treatment sounds scary. My life is in your hands. You could not believe your eyes when Mayor Regner pulled out a severed hand from his satchel. The black spots on its fingers sent chills down your spine and you demanded to know where he got it from. He only hushed you and proceeded to rub the severed hand against your chest. I should never have trusted Rag while we use a lot of stuff and that is so creepy what he just did. <laughs> that is a hell of... that is very creepy. And we have died. It was a good run. White lasted. You have a new heir. If you die, you'll play a tier. Chijamund. Give whatever. Okay, so Emperor Lambert the second feasts in Valhalla at the age of 49. Perfect. At least he went to Valhalla. He died of cancer. A zealous man, he fought for the glory of Odin against the heathens in one of the greatest holy wars of recent history. And now the net... Uh, Bastardo will be playing as Emperor uh, Geronica, so chief of Medehalf Shrike, and he doesn't look too bad. Wow, he's got a hell of a lot of children. One of them is Stitch, but he's preferring to lead troops from the safety of his home. Okay, yeah, he's not got very good traits, so I apologise for that. He's a craven, he's dull, just charitable and lustful. So, no wonder he has so many children, so we'll pause everything where we are. Let's just disband that unit of men. There should, we shouldn't have any men or fleets raised. So, yeah, we had a good run while it lasted. We managed to expand the, uh, the realm greatly into Spain. We took Egypt. We took parts of Italy. We gained all of Ge uh, most of Germany in one awesome holy war, and we gained a lot of land in England as well. So, I wish all the best to the next guy. I hope you have as much fun as I did with that run and hopefully conquer a lot more land. I can't wait to see where you go with it. So thank you all so much for watching my stint. At least I'm out of the way for those of you who have not enjoyed it. And hopefully I get a third go. Thank you all so much. I'll see you very soon, hopefully.